God. So when we pray for our children, let our children touch by the power of God. When you pray to the small group, let the people feel the presence of God. When we, when we come to the church, let everybody rejoice and feel the presence of God. When there is no presence, then slowly, gradually, people find boring. There are so many churches, there is no presence of God in the church. There is a tradition in the church. So tonight, I would say that there is a great inheritance that God has kept for us. That's a great inheritance. God wanted to bless each and every one of us. God wanted to pour out His Spirit in our life. We're so hungry for God. And He wanted to, you know, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God lives inside of us. I, I can say, I can say that my, my daughter, my, my daughter, my sons and daughter have been seeing God in my life. And I, I, that's my, my covenant with my God. Lord, as long as I live, I want to carry you. As long as I live, I want to see my children, see you in my life. There won't be any day that I will go without God. There won't be any day that I will go without the presence of God. There won't be any day that I will, I will go without the fellowship of God. You know, one of the greatest tragedy to Adam in the Garden of Gethsemane was he lost the fellowship. Sin, because of sin, Bible says that Adam and Eve and Adam sinned. But the greatest tragedy was they lost the fellowship. If we lost the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, if we lost the fellowship with, with God, now we have the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus came to save us, and He saved the Holy Spirit, but there was God already in the earth. Hallelujah. He was there. He sent His Son. And the Holy Spirit, Jesus sent His Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. And to these days, God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, is working on the earth, in the earth. And he wanted to equip, he wanted to feel what, what will happen, what will be the picture when all the three, three to come to our life and live inside of us. How much glory we will carry. How much power we will carry. The world cannot resist that power. Once they touch, people begin to explode. People begin to change city sins. People begin to change, nations begin to change with that, when we receive that power. You know what happened when Ezekiel raised the bones? And there were thousands of people, armies being raised from bones. That is the power, that is the power of God. They were having the power of fellowship with God. So tonight, I will not take much longer time, I think. I, must, I think my time is almost finished. Okay, keep on moving. Thank you. <laughs> the greatest move these days, uh, I've been reading a um, couple of histories and other. Uh, I found that the greatest move, there were a couple of uh, move of God and uh, uh, the, the, the beginning, the, the first move of God was the prayer moment, the Moravian, uh, we everybody know the history, uh, that Moravians have the prayer meeting. So when I, when I read about the Moravian, uh, when they were, they, they used to have the prayer meeting 24 hours, 24 seven. So they used to pray 24 hours. And, and, and when, I, when I read about the history that they prayed not only one day or two weeks or one month or one year, but they prayed for a hundred years, 24-7. I don't know, when I, when I read, when I, when I was reading that history, I said, what kind of people they were? They prayed hundred years, 24-7. 
Hundred years. When you pray for two hours, you get tired. Am I right? <laughs> two hours, one day I, I pray five hours, I got tired. <laughs> two hours, tired. They pray 24 hours, one hundred years. This is something only the power, the glory of God can do. The human power can do all kinds of things. Second, second, second moment is um, uh, um, uh, uh, charismatic and uh, you know faith moment. There was charismatic moment in 1908. I read about Azusa Street that there came the, the charismatic moment where uh, the AG was birthed. I think <laughs> where AG was birthed. I, I'm very. I thank God to. I thank God for connecting me with with AG. Azusa is <laughs> where AG has birth. And there was a faith moment. And the now the greatest moment, this was prophesied by Smith Rubblesworth to his grand, I think great granddaughters. I, 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 I read her interview and she said that my grandparents prophesied. And then, you know, there's a lot of prophecy, prophecies, movement of God, move of God. But the last, the greatest moment, the last moment and the greatest moment would be the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Spirit and the Holy Spirit. And this is what Peter, a Joel prophet, prophesied. And Peter, in Acts chapter 2, verse 17, said that I will pour out my, God said that I will pour out my spirit upon every flesh. He promised that he would pour out his spirit to every flesh. And his sons and daughters shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. Old men dreams. So here the Peter said, talking about the, all the three generations. I think we are here almost three generations here. Old people, young, and the sons and daughter. So three generations. So when I preach this one, God gave me these words. I have a very strong um, uh, um, uh, confirmation of this promise in my spirit. God has put so deeply in my spirit. And I'm so much confident when I, when I read this one. I'm so much confident that when I preach this, to everywhere, God is going to pour out His Spirit. And God has been doing this in my meeting. It is not that I preach, it is His promise is going to, it is coming, going to come forth. It is His promise that He's going to complete. It is his promise that he will do it. When I say, when he will say, do it, he's doing it. This is the last days. Uh, Charles has been terrorized with so many things. What, what will happen uh, in the last days? The baby uh, pastors and so many things might have taught you. Well, what do you think, uh, Charles, the last days, what will happen? Anybody can say? What will happen in the last days? What Bible says uh, about uh, happening in the last days? There will be... Wars, then earthquakes, no. famine. So when I hear these things, I'm going to, mm, there's a war, there's a famine, mm, we're going to die. Or there's, there's, a, um, uh, there's an earthquake, oh, we're going to die. There was a heavy earthquake in, in Nepal uh, a couple of years ago and thousands and thousands of people died. So this is the promise. This is what happened in the last days. But I'm going to tell you tonight from the book of uh, Acts chapter 2, 17. Not only we have these things in the last days, but the better than these things is that God's going to pour out His glory to every body, everyone, every flesh. So that we will be able to resist the problem that comes in our life. If all the if all the wars and all the rivers, all the wars and all the all the earthquake and all kinds of things is there in your life, 
And if there is no power of God in our life, then that life would be so messed up. It's very difficult to move forward. It's very difficult to move forward. But God has promised to send, pour out His Spirit so that whatever it comes in our life, we're going to overcome that. God has poured, God is going to pour out His Spirit so much in our life that the joy of the Lord will overcome every problem that we have in our life. Hallelujah. Because the joy of the Lord, when the strength of the Lord, when, when God presence comes in our life, nobody can resist, nobody can stand against the presence of God, against the power of God. Hallelujah. And that is what God has promised. God has spoken from the prophet Joel that I will pour out my spirit upon every flesh. Wherever I have been going, wherever I have been preaching these words, God is going to come. God is, God is blessing them. Even your generations are going to prophesy. When I went, one day I went to uh, one of the conferences. Me and my wife went to one of the conferences in Life Center. I think 2016, beginning January. When we went there at, at, at the end of the conference, very young children, they came and uh, they, they, they came and uh, asked, asked you no, know, they came and uh, said that, can I pray for you? I said, yes, 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 please pray. And when they begin to pray, they begin to prophesy. They prophesied, they prophesied to me. And whatever they were prophesying, God was touching in my heart. God was making everything confirmation. God was giving confirmation what she was saying to me. I said, yes, 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 yes. Are you blessed? Yes. I said, you know, whatever you say is true. And God is saying everything that you are saying is true because it happened in my life. But I was jealous. It was young children are prophesying. I said, why not our people? Why not, why not our children, our, our young people prophesy? And when I read this and when I, when I meditate these scriptures, God was right because he said that I will pour out my spirit over every place and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. When the spirit of God comes in our life, either we speak in tongue or either we prophesy. This is what happened in the book of Acts. This is what happened in the book of Acts. This is some, some of the signs of infilling of the Holy Spirit, baptism of the Holy Spirit. People said, I'm, I, 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 I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. There's nothing at all. Maybe some people have different ways, but the Bible ways, we have to go for the Bible ways. The Bible ways is that wherever the Spirit of God came, wherever the Peter and John prayed to them, when they lay hands on them, and when the Holy Spirit came, either they prophesied, either they spoke in tongues. These are some of the evidence of speaking in tongue. But I like prophecy. I like speaking in tongue. But when the power of God comes upon our life, there are so many things you are going to download in your life. Hallelujah. The time has come. The glory of God is, is pouring. God is pouring out His glory to us. Every people are receiving the inheritance of God. There are, there are greater inheritance in our life. And I can, I, I would like to say this tonight that even if you are old, you might think, I'm old, what can I do? How can I serve God? I'm, I'm almost old, and how can I serve God? My mom in Bhutan ministry, that's 2006, 2008, uh, when I preached, because every, every beginning of the year, I always, like two months, January and February, I preach about... Uh, the Holy Spirit and the gift of the Holy Spirit and I, th I, I, I think it is one of the most important things that I should do to the church and also it is true that the, the message to the church is the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. Message to the Gentile is gospel. If we, talk, if we teach about the Holy Spirit they will not understand anything but if we keep on preaching the gospel to the church sometimes it's boring. They need to hear more than that. They need to hear the power of God. They need to hear the, the presence of God. They need to hear the gift of God. And that's the glory of God. So I preached January and February to my, my church congregation. 
And uh, when they come forward to receive the prayer, and I told my mom, who was then 60, around 55, 60 years, I told my mom, Mom, stay back. You're old. Let the young people come and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You are, you are too old. What do you do when you receive? So that was my, my, that was my ways. So, but when I, when I give the impartation to the church, my mom, my mother was in the front to receive the, the, the prayer. To receive the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So when I pray, when I began to pray to the people, those who were in front, my mother received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. She began to speak in tongue. I said, why the old woman we started to speak in tongue and you know, you know receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? That was my prayer to the Lord. Why not the young people? Why old? Today, she's one of the prayer wo wo prayer woman who, who prayed for my, my life and for my ministry. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She prays left like three to four hours a day. She's she takes fasting like 21 days, 7 days, 10 days. Now I, now I begin to understand why God has blessed her with the Holy Spirit. You know, every people, old, young, whatever it is, God has a plan and purpose in our life. <laughs> whatever we do, but we will, He will bless us in such a way, He will use us in such a way that one way or other, we are going to connect with the heaven. We have to connect with the heaven, whatever we are, whoever we are. Whether you are doctor, whether you are engineer, whether you are pilot, whatever, whatever the prophets, teachers, whatever it is. But we have to connect with the heaven. We have to connect with the heaven. When we connect with the heaven, our generation will connect with the heaven. Our generation will not be a godless generation. Our generation will not go without God. Without the power of God. They will serve God. Not only they will serve God. But they will serve and see God in our life. They will serve God because they will see God in our life. If, the, if our generation will not see God in our life. They will not serve God. So that is what uh, the. Uh, uh, I think book of uh, Nebiha. Let's see. Judges chapter 2 verse 10 is, is said like this. 2.10 All that generation also were gathered to their fathers and there arose another generation. Generation after them who did not know the Lord nor yet the work which he has done for Israel. So 11 Then the sons of Israel did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baal. And they pursued the Lord and God of their fathers who had brought them out of land of Egypt and followed other gods from among the gods of the people who were around them and, and bowed themselves down to them. Thus they provoked the Lord to anger. So there, there came such a such generation to those who did not know the Lord. Right after uh, uh, Joshua Right after um, uh, the book of Joshua, there came the end of the generation. You know what happened in the, the book of Joshua? When we read the book of Joshua, there are a lot of miracles. In the Exodus, there was a lot of God, there are a lot of miracles. They fit uh, 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 40 years. They fit uh, the hungry. They parted the Red Sea. They have done all kinds of miracles. And the people, they have... They have, they, watched the, they have seen the miracles with their eyes. They walk the miracles. Not only they have seen the miracles, they walk the miracles. But the generation in right after, after a couple of um, uh, generations, there came another generation who did not know the Lord. What will happen if our children did not know the Lord? If they did not know the Lord, whatever we have done, what we have been doing and what we have done, is a failure, will be a failure. This is what my, my people, my culture, people of uh, the Nepalese people, people in the US and the world, I've been challenging them. Now you are, you are a miracle worker. Maybe some, some people will be miracle worker. Some people might, might have raised the dead. 
Some people might have, you know, uh, uh, done the miracles and, and uh, different kind of things. Maybe a, a, a mighty, a mighty work of God. Wonderful, wonderful work of God. But if our generation, if our sons and daughters will not serve God, if they will not, they did not know the Lord, then there will be mess in their life. So I'm going to uh, show you a little video. Uh, uh, just to get ready. So today I would like to ask you that if you want the power, the inheritance, not only the power that that do miracle signs and wonders, the power that can change us, our children, our nations, the power is available. The power is available. The power is here. The power that the godly man and woman have once used, God used them wonderfully. This nation is so blessed nation that a lot of people, the God used wonderfully in the world, are some of the people are from U.S. And there are, so the, the God wanted to bless, God wanted to you know, transfer the anointing, the power from one generation to another. God has um, blessed me with this ministry that wherever I go and pray, people receive the anointing, people receive the power of God. That's a move of God in our generation. My prayer was, Lord, I want to see your move in my life, in my generation. And I want to see your, your glory, I want to see your power in my life and my generation so that so that our next generation will look at us and they will not go without God. They will carry the same power that we carry. If the mom and dad carry the power of God, the presence of God, I will say that your children will not go without God. Your children will carry the same power and presence. I can see my daughter begin to see the power of God in her life. She's, she, she's now, she's now uh, fasting 40 days, she's only 15 years, she's taking 40 days fasting. My youngest daughter, who is six, six years now, is going to seven. She received the visitation of Christ. Uh, Christ appeared to her in her dream. And I asked three times, maybe she, she might you know, miss that. She, she might have seen some other one and she said Christ, so I, I, I checked her three times, even my wife checked her three times. How was Christ look like? How was the, the, the God you, look, you, you saw in her dream look like? How was he? Did he have any shoes or a fit? She said, no. He had a white gown. Did you see his face? No. The face was shining. And there was a white gown. And face was shining and the hair was golden color. I said, oh, that's a Christ. If you have seen the face, then there will be another person. <laughs> because we can see face. Most, you know, when we see God, we don't see the face, but we see his presence and the white. So I said, yes, you have seen God. You have seen Jesus. So God is visiting my, my generation, my daughter, uh, and in the, you know, the church, in the, in the leaders in our generation. That is my prayer to God. Lord, I want to have you. I want to carry you in my life, in my generation, till I die. And my generation, my children will carry the same thing after I have gone. That is my prayer. And God is answering my prayer. So if we invite God's power in our life, and if we begin to practice the presence of God in the homes. If we, if we make our homes heaven, the devil will not come. They will not invent. Hallelujah. The devil will have no power to come inside the house. The devil have no power to touch our children. The devil has no power to touch our people, our related relatives, whoever it is. They have no power to touch because the glory of God will surround. So my only protection today is the presence of God. The presence of God. God himself. I invite God. So he's my, he's my everything. So tonight, if you want, we're gonna, I'm going to pray for you. 
we're going to invite the Holy Spirit. And if you wanted to restore the power, might be you, you have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have received the power of God, and it is a continual process. It is not, it is a continual process if we keep on infilling, keep on filling with the Holy Spirit. Every day, every, every day, we have to be in connection or filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, uh, if you wanted to uh, stand up uh, and uh, uh, to receive that, the power, the anointing, you can, or if you want to come, whatever, if you want to stand wherever you are, that's fine. I'm going to pray. So, if you want to sit down, or if you want to stand up, whatever it is, but I would suggest you, if you really wanted that power, uh, okay, uh, okay, just please keep, keep on standing. I would like to uh, just play this small video that we have only two minutes. So, this is what God has been doing in our, in our meetings these days. that we need for the church. We need the prophecy, the gift of prophecy. We need the power of God. We need the discernment of the Spirit. We need the need. Tom and the of Tom so that people will see 
and they'll see God in their life. God in our life. And when, when the people will see the glory of God, people will bow down. People will say that, oh, Jesus is alive. He's a living God. He's a mighty and living God. There is no like you, God. There is no God like you. You are the only living one and only living God in the universe. There is no one else. There was no one who was before you and after you. As you say that, there is no God before me after me. I am the God of Israel. I'm the God of Israel. I'm the God of the universe who created all. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come down, come down. Trust by your power, trust by your glory. Show that. Share my country, share that. Hold that my name, share my country. We kind of shake it away. Yes, the power of the energy is here. So if, if anybody, if you want to receive the prayer, please you can come and let pray. You can come front and let pray for you. Hallelujah. Yes, the, 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 the glorious power, the glorious power is here. It's just going to touch you and anoint you. So if you want, anybody want to receive the, the anointing, please you can come and uh, you can receive it. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, Jesus, the mighty God, the mighty King, the mighty God. But I thank you, I praise you, worship you for this glorious, for this glory, Lord. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your presence. We Karaba, Show Raba Kanto, Shei Raba, Oriya Raba Shei. I tell my people to see me. I tell you not to fear. Show me that fear is with you. Show me that fear. Yes, yes. Lord, we God have bless me show the Lord. Lord. You should not fear what I have to give you. We're sure that we'll give you a good gift. Father, receive it. You shall see oh, that you shall drink the sweet waters of rest. Oh, the sweet waters of restoring your soul. Yes, yes. I shall restore your love yes. to new places. All yes. oh, my people, yes. hear me, for I desire to restore you. To restore you. Yes. yes. Yes, the power is for you. If anybody been praying for any kind of gift, either it's a healing gift or it's a prophecy, gift of prophecy, uh, it's a miracle, it's a discerning spirit, uh, the faith, any kind of gift. If you have been praying God to receive the gift of God, and if you have been praying desperately, uh, you can come from, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to activate the gift in your life a lot of places where i pray for the young people begin to prophesy they begin to walk in the mighty healing power very recently in uh in uh, uh, kentucky i prayed to one of the brother who was in the video who was jumping i prayed for him soon as soon after uh, i prayed the next day god began to use him in the healing ministry. Now he, he started to pray people. He told me yesterday, he called me and said that the people I, I pray in the, in the hospital, he, he prayed one uh, kidney patient and God healed that person and, uh, and she's, uh, she, she, the, the hospital is going to uh, discharge her soon because she's getting recovered. And that, that gift was received when I was in Kentucky. And the same, same gift is available here. If anybody been praying for that gift, you can come forward. I'm going to pray for you. If there's anybody. Okay. Thank you, Jesus.